In this video, I will show you everything how to use the Apple Pencil in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. So everything you need to know. Okay guys, let's start with the obvious. You can always take your pencil, grab something, you can move this around, you can bring it into your timeline, you can scrub around your timeline. And if you are in the cut page, you can also scrub in the lower timeline and in the top timeline. But what you also can do is, and this is the most important, you can do a right click. Just press longer somewhere in DaVinci Resolve and then you will have a window coming up. It depends now where you click. Sometimes like here on the clip, for example, you get this window. Or if you go here, for example, to a clip, you can change stuff here. Like for example, I can change the clip color and make this one here blue and bring this clip here down to the clip. And if you have a keyboard, you can actually hold down the Alt or Option key. And if I now move something here around, I can create a duplicate. So if you see this, I created the copy just by holding down the Alt key and I can make as many copies as I want. Or for example, what a lot of people don't know is even here on the playhead, press longer and you get this window here. So what does it say here? I can make a cut through all of my playhead. Or for example, if I type this one, it will select everything to the right. When is this useful? If you want to select everything and move it, for example, all to the right. If you are in the cut page and you have the magnetic timeline, you can also turn this off. So now you can move this here to the right. And they have a gap and you can work with this gap. But I can also select everything to the left. Another thing where you can use the pencil is if we select a clip and we go to the inspector and now we have our transform. We can always go in here to the numbers and just swipe left or right to change the zoom value here. You can always reset with these icons here. Or for example, if I change my values, if I want to reset all of those individual values, I can just double click on the name. So now my zoom, my position is reset. If I come in here and click this icon and click this one, I get this the handles around my image. So I can also use my pencil to move this around, basically manipulating the same thing like the transform just with the pencil here. I can also turn it and all of this. If I want to reset everything, I just type this one here. You can also navigate through the timeline by using this one here. So you can take this, go left, go right and just swipe and it will also use this one here. So using a right click will basically sometimes open up a window where you don't see something. Like for example, here in my media pool, if I right click into an empty area, I have a menu that pops up. So I can import media, I can import media from photos, all of this, I can create a new bin, all from that. So sometimes it depends, like for example, these icons here, there's nothing happening when you do right click because if you click them, you already get a window coming up. So it depends on where in my DaVinci Resolve I click, then I have those uh, manipulations. Same goes for the color page. You can always right click on the clips here or right click on your notes. You can move stuff around. You can deselect those lines or create new lines by just clicking on that, dragging. And then you should also hit, <laughs> uh, target them. Boop. And then you have a new line can create new notes here. So this is the basic way you navigate with your pencil in DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. I hope you liked this video and you learned something. If yes, don't throw away your Apple Pencil because you might need it for DaVinci Resolve for the iPad. We see us in the next video. I'm Daniel. Oh, and don't forget to ding ding on the bam bang gong so you get notifications when the next video comes up. Bye.